so we can run back right and his arms are open he loves you he created you hi guys my name is Naima <clears throat> I really hope you're doing well welcome to this video <laughs> 7 17 a.m. on a Monday and I'm going on a date with God I'm very excited and I'm running late as well so we don't have time to spare I need to leave the house at 8 I was supposed to wake up at 5 15 a.m. to like do a bunch of stuff and it yeah, it didn't happen. I wanted to also focus this episode, I guess, series now, I don't know. I also wanted to focus this video on talking about running back to God, kind of how to get closer to God after you've kind of run far from Him. So, I don't know, recently, like, I just found myself not feeling as close to God as I used to, and I just feel like I had kind of neglected him over time and just kind of ran away i just kind of wanted to first of all like get vulnerable like i don't really talk about what i'm struggling with that much i feel like it's actually horrible like to feel so distant from god and like uh it's like the worst thing ever so i kind of want to just encourage you if you're feeling distant from god right now like his arms are open so i kind of have like a list of things that i did and like i would recommend doing to get closer to God. What happens when we feel far from God is we are the ones that run away from God. God doesn't move, God is right here, and sin is over there, and then we start running, and we start running, and we start running. And God's still in the same place, so we can run back, right? And his arms are open, he loves you, he created you. I hope that can encourage you. His arms are still open, you are his child. You belong with him okay please like don't let what you've done in the past anything you've said literally anything don't let that get in between you and god satan plays mind games okay and he will tell you you've done too much and he will pile the guilt and the shame and make god's voice harder and harder to hear so you think that's from god and it's not it's not it's not from god this is part of the message that was in church today this lighting is horrible guys what i just wanted to say that like oftentimes i think we kind of stray away from god because we feel like we're too much of a sinner because we've done too much because we've denied god too many times and if you go to luke chapter 7 um starting at verse 36 and on it's the title of it a sinful woman forgiven and that's a really nice story that I encourage you to read um, and it's like a woman who was a sinner prostitute um, going to Jesus and then there was a Pharisee and they go back and forth and have a whole conversation a whole situation and then at the end of it when she realizes her sin when she confesses her sin and when she realizes her need of a savior realizes who Jesus is she goes to him and washes his feet and does all these things in honor of him and just really, really, really just repents. Verse 47 of Luke chapter 7 says, Therefore I tell you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But he is forgiven little, loves little. Um, and so, like, God can forgive your sins, you know, like, I think there's so many stories in scripture of like Jesus like going to these people, these broken people because we really are all broken and and oftentimes it's that little voice in our head that says like you're worthless. You you're not you haven't you're not good enough like you've done too much. Like who who do you think you are going to God? And that's not God's vo that's not from God at all I'm sorry to say that it's not from God Jesus came for the sick not the healthy Jesus came for the sinners and so when you're like having all this guilt and shame which trust me we've all been there it's not about forgiving yourself you you're not forgiving yourself you're accepting the forgiveness that God has for you so you can drop it right now if this is you and you're kind of contemplating like oh i've done too much i i don't even think god would want me shut that down come to jesus he's waiting for you come to the altar bow down before the king and cry your heart out worship i don't know what you need to do pray um because your sins which are many and so are mine <laughs> 
they can be forgiven if we bring them before God. If we bring them before God. There's so much power in that because like sometimes you do something and you're like, ooh, I shouldn't have done that. And then you don't bring it to God. Even though he like knows that you did it, there's so much power in offering up your sin to God. And and just, I, what's that verse? It's like, um, and boasting in your weakness. Like letting, I don't even know. But do you get what I'm saying? You got what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Back to the video. <laughs> By the way, the background noise is rain. Oh, I didn't really describe what we were doing in the video. So first I'm gonna do makeup. I'm gonna put like a cozy outfit on because it's raining outside. Then we're going to go in the car, like have some car worship time. And then I have to drop my dog off to get a haircut <laughs> in like half an hour. And then we need to get food, just read the Bible, and pray a little bit, and just do whatever. And then that's the date, okay? I would say if you're trying to get closer to God and get back to Him, or even get to Him for the first time, like repent, ask for forgiveness, and like realize what your place is. Like you are a sinner. God paid the price for you, you know? Like just repent and understand like your sin. Like know your sin is your sin. And if that sin is what's getting in between you and God, just understand that and repent from that. And it's not like, oh, yeah, I'm going to repent from it and I'm going to be perfect and never do that sin again. No, like we have to repent all the time. We're not going to be perfect, but you going to God and saying, I am so sorry, God, help me to hate this sin or help me to not do this, give me the strength, whatever. God sees that and he's pleased with that and he sees the effort and over time you're gonna notice yourself hating that sin and through God's strength, strength and by God's grace. Don't give guilt a home in your heart. Don't let that overwhelm you. Don't let that keep you away from God. Like that's something that the devil uses. So don't give guilt a home in your heart. That's not gonna help anyone except for Satan. Next thing I would do is just pray that God would help you. Be like very vulnerable with God. Pray that God would just help you and give you the strength to love him with all your mind, heart, and soul. But just in general, like praying to God and like just saying, God, can you please help me? God, help me to feel your love. God, help me to just be able to hear you. Like that in and of itself is huge. This is a big one that I don't think a lot of people would talk about. Only listen to Christian music and don't watch TV. I'm editing the video right now and I'm realizing <laughs> maybe this might sound a little radical to you. I wanted to mention that like I do still watch TV especially like when I'm with my friends like we watch movies, regular movies, I go to the movie theater. Um, it's just like but what I mean by like no TV and no secular music I guess I mean like the majority of the time. Um, you see all my split ends in this lighting. This happened to me today. Ready? So. <laughs> there's a show on Netflix called Love is Blind. You've probably heard about it. I'm late to the show. But it's basically all about marriage, engagement, and dating, right? You get where I'm going with this. And then, like, the whole day I was like, oh, like, I'm so excited to be married. Like, no, I don't need to be thinking about that right now. Like, no. Like, I'm just really influenced by, like, what I watch and what I see and what I hear. So, for me, it is really, really important that for I would say 90% of the time it is Christian music. Um, and if it's not Christian music, it's like old like music that I listen to. I'll challenge you this, go one week only listening to Christian music. And you could leave it there or the next week even don't watch TV. Like I watch YouTube a lot of the times like Christian YouTubers um, or I'll watch like TikToks, I'm on Christian TikTok. Or I'll read. Like, that's what I do instead of watching TV. I'm telling you, 15 seasons of Grey's Anatomy, I've watched it. Young and Hungry, I've watched it. All of these shows, New Girl, whatever, everything. The Office, I've watched all these shows. And I have been, like, into everything so much. Take this little advice that I have for you, as you will. Pray about it. And over time, get some convictions about it. See what God wants you to do. And this is all I have to say. <laughs> Secular music just literally, I think, was one of the main things that got me feeling distant from God. I didn't even listen to music with swears or anything. Like, it just, like, if it's not about God, it's like, 
over time it was making me feel so horrible i guess there can be a balance and maybe it depends on the person i would just watch what's going into your heart really carefully because you might not notice it but the music you're listening to isn't helping you at all like at all and like the shows you're watching like what are the scenes in that show like is it glorifying to god or would jesus not even watch that show again that's me that's like my convictions about it i did also fast from secular music for one year and i think that also impacted me i need to make a video about music and like i don't know but just remember that scene was the angel of music so um okay next thing spending time alone with god maybe going on a date with him and just like being silent like just be like it's hard i remember like crying out to god and i just like i don't feel you god like i'm so sorry like blah, blah. and it's hard because it's it's just silent it's just you and your guilt that you're trying to get rid of and you're trying to get to god right so it's kind of hard but um just being present and being open to his voice and just coming into it like god i don't deserve anything i'm here like your servant is here right that's just i think the most beautiful attitude you can have even no matter what you've done no matter how far you've gone to from god your servant is here and he's listening i'll tell you for me this happened really recently actually like i was laying in my bed and i just was like god i just want to feel your presence again i want to feel your spirit like i just want to feel it right and so i was just sitting in my bed i wasn't doing anything i was like about to cry but i was like i'm not crying again and then i just felt goosebumps all over my body all over my body and it didn't get colder it didn't get warmer like the heater was literally on in my room and i just felt goosebumps over my body and i just felt like i just felt jesus like coming over to like lay down with me and just like comforting me call me crazy i'm i don't think i am and that was really the moment where i felt like wow god is here and he still loves me and then that's when i started crying like oh i don't deserve you god I, it. I promise you if you are persistent with that and being silent and if you do all of these things like it's gonna happen i mean there's so many verses in the bible that say like if you seek god with all your heart and do not lead on your own understanding you're gonna find god you know like he is not like buried deep in this difficult place that you're not supposed to ever get to no if you seek him like gold and silver you will find him and that is a promise Okay, the next thing I would say is definitely be in your Bible and it's really hard especially when you feel so distant from God because sometimes it can feel like you're just reading words and we want it to not be like that. We want it to come alive to us and so when it feels like it's just words, I think that's when you need to get on your knees and pray and that's when you need to blast the worship music and that's when you need to read it anyways read it anyways until you find something one day i read the whole book of job the whole it's like 40 chapters that's a good length book and i'm not saying this to like boast i'm not trying to i'm just telling you like i was so desperate for god again that i read so much of the bible and i just i was so desperate for him like and that's what our souls are supposed to be like souls are supposed to thirst and faint for god and so we really just gotta dig just dig just dig and god's gonna show up and also like get the convictions out of the bible like i was reading and obviously i was like oh dang oh dang oh dang like start to feel those convictions that's amazing to feel that um also another little quote that you've probably heard before you can't say God is silent when your Bible is closed. That's like one of the main ways God will speak to you. So if you're not in your Bible and you're complaining about how he's far from you and whatever, no, you have to get into the Bible. I say this with all the love, get over it. Get over it and get in your Bible. Like I know it's hard. Satan obviously is gonna do everything he can to get you out of that Bible. You just gotta push through it. And, and God is just gonna be so proud of you. I'm gonna be so proud of you, okay? Also, I would say the next thing is putting your pride aside. I think pride is so tricky because it's something that's hard to recognize. Like with sexual immorality, it's like you can obviously see what's wrong and what's not, right? But with pride, it's like, it's, it's like tricky. And the thing is like pride is what Satan fell from. 
it's a really dangerous one and it's also very sneaky so like don't go to him expecting anything don't go to him at like just just go to him right because the reality is is that he already did everything he needs to do for you he already did more than he needed to do he already sent his son to die for your sins that should be more than enough more than enough so i think just coming to god with like no expectation other than just to be with him i think that is really really vital and like even your relationship with god like you're going to read the bible not because you want to get something out of it for your day because you want to know more about god and more about jesus and learn about your savior savior <laughs> also when it feels lonely when it feels like there's no one to talk to really i would recommend journaling and what i mean by journaling is just like you writing down like dear god thank you for this thank you for that this happened today i'm so excited about this or writing like just what happened in your day or writing your prayer so i think that's really really huge journaling and that's just like really therapeutic also it's just amazing comment down below like your other thoughts about like running back to god tell me what you think about what i said and like if you have anything to add because i'm not perfect and i'm not claiming that like this is the video you need to follow in order to be close to god ever no i'm just trying to give you like my perspective and based on like what i've recently been going through like obviously a relationship with god is something very personal now it's time to put an outfit on and then we'll figure out what to do with my hair gotta take the dog out and also prepare like my going out bag can you believe that i started this channel off as like a makeup channel i have some black leggings from lululemon the bean boots yes this top is really cozy it's from brandy this is also from Brandy. I literally wear this hoodie in every single video. But definitely a cozy vibe. The moments where I question everything are when my hair looks like this, right? And then there's always this face that is straight. Look at it. That can't be normal. Hello. I love it. Bible, journal, schedule. Alright, off we go. <laughs> you little rat. We're taking him to his haircut appointment. So I'm going to listen to some worship and he's going to chill in here too. <laughs> Off we go. He's my little rat. Guys, it's literally raining so hard. Like I don't even, I don't even get it. To be honest with you, man, I just want to know. My dog literally smells so bad. Worst dog smell you thinking it's that. Okay, listen to the song. Sorry, I'll stop this. Listen to the song Nothing Else by Cody Carnes. And it's a really good, like, getting you back to your roots song. It's one of those songs where it's like, yeah, nothing else matters. I'm sorry for just doing this because of this or that, you know? It's, it's one of those songs, and it's very, very good. So I would recommend. All I see is green lights. All I see is green, green lights. Oh my gosh, there's a biker on the highway. And it's pouring. Oh, poor man. We made it safe. Um, <laughs> guys, that was maybe one of the most stressful drives I've ever had in my life, but it was also the most like exhilarating. Like, we're at the dog salon. He made it. What's gonna happen now is I'm going to go to a restaurant called The Friendly Toast. It is 8.30 and let's just go get some breakfast, and kind of just chill with God. Guys, my dog literally peed as I was taking him out of this little crate. He literally peed on the desk, on the girl. I failed him as a mother. <laughs> oh, this is a good song. Too bad, copyright. <laughs> Sorry. Proceed to the root. 
Proceed to the root. Proceed to the root. I'm going! And right onto Main Street. I really feel like crying. Ah. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm so tired. I just want to grow up into a ball. I arrived at my destination. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna bring my Bible and everything. And I'm probably just gonna order like a nice fat breakfast. Guys, why didn't I bring my tripod? This is so awkward. Alright, let the date begin. I ordered. So good. I finished with breakfast. It was kind of hard to like vlog in there. First of all, because I just felt very exposed and like very out in the open and people were looking at me. And like, okay, if I were in New York and I went to breakfast alone. I finished Mark. Yeah. So I started at chapter 14 and I finished it. So that's just um, three chapters, but they're pretty long. Anyways, I'm gonna stop myself from talking for another hour. I just feel very like peaceful. I feel ready for my day and I just feel like I want to worship a little bit more in the car and then that's it. So subscribe and like comment if you want more videos like this. Comment anything you want to comment and I love you. Jesus loves you. Bye. Fun. Fun. All right. When I first felt your presence, Jesus. No idea what to do with this camera. I'm a mother. I did the mother thing.